Okay, this video, Jay asked an interesting question about the 1967 Schofield Bible, if it's compatible to the King James Bible or not. So let's just look at that question and I'll provide the two websites that I've sourced below. First website um, is from Chick Publications. This one was written by Samuel Gipp. And, uh, the question, isn't the new Schofield Bible a King James Bible? Answer, not only is the new Schofield Bible not a King James Bible, it is not even a Schofield Bible. And so you can uh, read down here. Uh, just pause it. But this is just a short history and the fact that uh, Dr. Schofield died I believe it was 1919 was the day he died uh, oh 1921 he actually died so how could he edit the 1967 Schofield Bible <laughs> very interesting eh? um, so whoever the revisers were uh, certainly wasn't Dr. Schofield so it can't be called a Schofield reference Bible Maybe it was some little uh, committee from Oxford University. I'm not exactly sure where they were from. But I believe it was only nine people, so it's not exactly they weren't exactly translating anything, because the work had already been done in previous versions. But uh, what they tended to do was just uh, change a few words and then put the King James Bible words in the margin. So, for example, in this. Uh, website Jesus is Saviour they're actually saying that this is another counterfeit King James Bible this NSRB if that's what you want to call it because it's the new Schofield reference Bible <laughs> okay so uh, so they talk about baptism um, so this is just a very brief study they do um, right here um, there's some references right here. Dr. William Grady addresses the NSRB in his book, Final Authority. His research includes the following on page 316. A random survey of the NSRB margins in Philippians alone, so just one small book in the New Testament, revealed a total of 29 changes from the King James Bible. So even if it was like a few dozen changes in the entire Bible, you'd think, well, I mean, what, why are they changing words like this? Because there, there's definite changes, uh, changing the meaning of words. And so if that's just a single book of the Bible, and they've changed 29 different words, then you can really sort of uh, throw it aside and just say, well, it's not a King James Bible, it's just uh, yet another uh translation if you like from the Textus Receptus which has been altered along the way so it's definitely not a Schofield Bible um, so it's saying the skeptic can check out for himself these are Philippians 1 7 1 8 1 23 1 27 2 1 2 15 2 25 2 27 2 28 3 1, 3 8, 3 17, 3 19, 3 20, 3 21, 4 3, 4 6, uh, 4 14, 4 15, 4 21, and 4 22. So you just have a either an Oxford or a Cambridge uh, King James Bible open and then just check your uh, um, non Schofield, it should be called NN SRV non new Schofield ref new I don't know whatever right it's not a Schofield anyhow it's not a King James Bible either I hope this has been educational may the Lord bless you thank you for listening